and gentlemen, we're back on Monday Night Walker. Tiffany Stratton is unloading on the new number one contender for the Women's Intercontinental Championship, Liv Morgan. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Well, Tiffany and Liv are brawling backstage. Obviously, Tiffany's a little pissed that, you know, she got screwed over by Indy Hartwell at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. But, I mean, this is ridiculous. Why would you attack the, I mean, oh my God, Tiffany wants another Women's Intercontinental Championship opportunity, and she's looking to take Liv Morgan out to do it. This is unbelievable. Tiffany, we didn't see her last week. We're seeing her this week. This is not a way to get back in the Women's Intercontinental Championship picture. I don't know if Liv Morgan after this is going to be able to even compete at Walker Mania. This is ridiculous. Folks, we got, we got a King of the Ring tournament to start. That's up next. We got to cut away from this. Folks, we're going to follow up on that situation next week. I mean, we're, I don't know what the hell we're going to have to do. I think, you know what? Tiffany wants her hands on Indy Hartwell so bad. Take it out. Liv Morgan is not the way to do it. Liv Morgan apparently just suffered a, a minor injury. Uh, we had to take her away for the episode. Next week, we're going to have Tiffany Stratton versus Indy Hartwell. It's going to be a rematch, non-title rematch. But we're going to see what happens next week. I, I don't know. But regardless, we are kicking off the King of the Ring tournament. Of course, this is the tournament to determine the next number one contender for the WWE Championship, which will be fighting for the title at the next pay-per-view, which I believe is Backlash. We're going to start it off right now. Seth Rollins and LA Knight. And then in our main event, it is going to be AJ Styles versus Austin Fear. We're going to find out who is going to advance in the King of the Ring tournament, as well as the Queen of the Ring tournament. We got action from that tournament as well later on tonight. Right, but let's kick off our first match right now. Well, folks, uh, here we go. It's our first match. Seth Ro Wait a minute. Oh, God. Well, match. Oh, immediately. Get the hell out of here. Well, the referee's already been knocked down, and we're spilling to the outside of the ring already, folks. This is uh, the official arena this year. Uh, I, you know, I'm recording this on March 2nd. So um, I don't have access to like the image uploader yet. I, I'm not going to be able to upload the Monday Night Walker logos until next week's episode or like get, you know, custom attires for the CWO or whatever. But um, it, it, we're, we're going with a purple theme this year, baby. Purple's it, it's my color. You feel me? We're going with a purple theme this year. But man, this is our first King of the Ring tournament match of round one, match one. LA Knight versus Seth Rollins. And it's already started off pretty controversially. Referee getting knocked down. And these two spilling to the outside. No weapons were used. But man, we're gonna have two. Oh man, wait, never mind what I'm saying. We got a freak. Oh, never mind. Cross face in by Rollins. This match has already started off hot as hell. We didn't even see the entrances. Give me a break. What the hell? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, uh, tonight we got two King of the Ring tournament matches. We got two Queen of the Ring tournament matches we got a hardcore championship match wait a minute revolution knee by rollins and the cover and an immediate kick out from la night this match continues man oh man also uh oh wait a minute what the hell la night off the ropes look at this diving to the outside We also uh, have Cody Rhodes in action once again. Uh, he won last week against Trick Williams. Charlotte was supposed to be here this week. However, we're going to wait until next week. Charlotte will be here on next week's episode. Her first appearance since winning the Women's Royal Rumble match. She will be facing EO Sky at Walker Mania 6. Uh, but yeah, we are going to uh, wait on her arrival until next week. Right now, man, look at this. Rollins. Sending LA Knight into the barricade. Referee's already at seven. Are we, are we going to go for a countout? Seriously? In the first match of the night? We already saw that in Elimination Chamber. LA Knight, you got to get back in the ring, Chief. He does. Beats the 10 count. Took a little bit of time to do it, but he beat it. Rollins, though, is not letting up on this man whatsoever. A couple of chops. and how? Oh, no, a reversal button from LA Knight. LA Knight trying to find a path to Walker Mania 6. Couldn't do it in the Elimination Chamber. Couldn't do it last week when he competed for an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. That match was won, of course, by Drew McIntyre. We already know a couple matches officially for Walker Mania. We got Cody Rhodes versus Sami Zayn for the WWE Championship. Hold on a minute. Cover. I'm on a rope. Referee doesn't give anybody enough time 
to adjust. Oh, man, Rollins going for a dive. Misses the mark on that one. And Rollins taking his time getting back in there. We got Cody Rhodes versus uh, Sami Zayn for the WWE Championship. We got Gunther versus Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship. That is official. We got, uh, I mean, as of right now, it's Indy Harwell versus Liv Morgan for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. I don't even know if, if Liv Morgan can compete anymore after what we just saw between Tiffany Stratton and Liv Morgan. Morgan had to be taken to a hospital after, you know, going through that glass. I think Tiffany did as well, but she's like weirdly fine. Uh, but yeah, those matches are official so far. Am I missing any? Of course, we got the King of the Ring Finals and the Queen of the Ring Finals. We're going to be determining the number one contenders to, you know, both championships, uh, women's and WWE Championship for the next pay-per-view in the finals of the King and Queen of the Ring Tournament. Is anything else official yet? I don't think so. Obviously, we got a hardcore championship match on the show as well, but we still got a lot of stuff to determine over the next few weeks. And uh, man, one of them will be found out right now who's going to round two of the King of the Ring tournament. This has been a brawl so far. Referee taking a damn bump in the beginning of this match. And Rollins playing the, playing the long game now. Slow, methodical, wearing down of the limbs. Look at this. LA Knight hasn't gotten anything going for himself in the last few minutes. Super kick right to the mouth of LA Knight. Well, look at this. Rollins wasn't able to get it the first time. Kenny hit it the second time. Over the top rope, and there he goes. Rollins dropping down a knee on the side of LA Knight. Referee counting both men out. I don't know if I like the, the referee counts being on screen or if I prefer them being off the screen. I also don't know what the hell's going on with this floor. Why is it so, like, spotty? But, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that stuff. It's all a work in progress, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first official week, you know what I'm saying? Can't get no logos going. Referee's at six, by the way. Rollins not waiting for anything to get back in the ring. Instead, going to taunt and dive to the outside with a crossbody. Knight quick to get back up to his feet. Huh? And sends Rollins into the steel steps. The count starts once again. I do think I'm going to take the referee uh, counts off to be completely transparent. I'm also going to fix the whatever pattern that is on the floor. It's pretty effing distracting. Can't lie to you. But I hope you all like the purple because it's staying. It's staying for this year. Rollins grabbing LA Knight. Where is he taking him? Onto the ropes. Oh, man. These two are killing each other. I mean, especially Seth Rollins. He has been going crazy in this match so far. What the hell are we looking at here? Again, sending LA Knight to the outside. What is Rollins thinking? Not again. Oh, man, just like how LA Knight did earlier. A little drop kick through the middle ropes to the outside. Wow. And, oh, man, there is no rest for L.A. Knight whatsoever. Referees counting both men, or just L.A. Knight out now. But Rollins, again, not wasting any time. He's impatient. He's trying to go to Walker Mania. Oh! A moonsault misses the mark. L.A. Knight rolls out of the way. And that mom the momentum in this match may have changed completely, folks. We are spilled to the outside on a bunch of occasions. We're getting back in. LA Knight up on his feet, giving Seth Rollins a little bit of the deuce deuce. And look at this. Beautiful there from LA Knight. What more can he possibly do here? Rollins getting up to his feet. Oh, huge forearm. Another one. And a sling blade. Dude, what the hell? Rollins, what is he setting up for here? No! I may be going for the pedigree. Couldn't get it, but Rollins still on the attack. LA Knight was able to block the pedigree. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right hand from Rollins. Didn't hit the first time. It hit the second time, though. This is an intense-ass match. Look at this. Oh, wow. 
the power LA Knight still has to administer that slam into the cover and Rollins with a kick out at two. This is smooth, man. I'm liking this match so far. Oh no, Big T! Out of nowhere! How come on with these road breaks, man? With these road breaks, you don't give them enough time to hook the leg. That's ridiculous. I don't like that at all. But LA, the referees beat a little, beat a little putts. Can't lie to you, Rollins saved from elimination in this tournament at least momentarily. It was a rough 2023 for Seth Rollins. 2024 could be huge for him. LA not on the top rope. Elbow drop into the cover once again. And Rollins kicks out at two. My goodness. This is unbelievable. This is a crazy ass match. This is only the first match in the first round of one of our tournaments this year. I mean, are you nuts? What does Rollins have in store for LA Knight? Just trying to wear him down more and more. He was doing that earlier in the match, but man, went to it one too many times. Rollins back up on his feet, but in the corner. Knight with an uppercut. Gives him a huge opportunity right here to put AJ, oh, AJ, to put Seth Rollins away. AJ Styles, of course, will be facing Austin Theory uh, in another King of the Ring tournament match in our main event. Oh, man, both men going for huge moves. Neither is able to get an upper hand. And look at this, LA Knight, Irish whip, reversed. Sends LA Knight onto the apron. Oh, and off the apron goes LA Knight. Dude, what an opening match. We were going to see a pedigree. That was reversed. Oh, boy. Well, here we go. We're going to go back into the ring. No, off the apron. Jeez. Calm it down, buddy. What an opener. Crazy opener to the show. Rollins gets sent back inside the ring. I don't even know if we're close to this match being over. We already saw a BFT, and that led to a road break. And we haven't seen anything since. LA Knight taking his sweet old time, getting back in there. I don't blame him. It's been a rough go for both men. But Rollins, is this his opportunity? Oh, my goodness. Look at the way Knight's head bounced off of those ropes. And another cross face, but that's going to be a road break. Bad ring awareness there from Rollins. Well, what are we thinking, folks? What are we thinking here? Rollins going high, climbing to the top rope. You see the fatigue. You see him slow to get up. What is Rollins going to do here from the top rope? Drops an elbow into a cover. Could that be enough? It is. Wow. Brutal match, man. I think LA Knight's body just gave out on him. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Holy hell. Well, I'm going to take away those referee counts, and we're going to freaking show you the bracket for the Queen of the Ring tournament. The finals, of course, will also be taking place at Walker Mania 6, where the winner will be the next number one contender for the Women's Championship. We're going to show you that, and we're going to get to our first match. Up next, we'll ignore it saying Mae Young Classic. It's the Queen of the Ring tournament. It's we first of all, this is gonna be crazy. We got two of these matches going on tonight. We're gonna have Gigi Dolan versus JC Jane, a long time rivalry in our in this series, uh, at least for the last few months. It gets reignited here tonight in the first round match of the Queen of the Ring tournament. And then later tonight, we have a new debut. We, it's a new debut. We got a debut. Chelsea Green is making her debut, but she's got a big task ahead of her. She faces Becky Lynch. We'll get to that later, but right now, it is Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. These two are going to kill each other, and I can't wait. That's up next. Oh, yes. Well, here we go, folks. I well, It's still grainy on the floor. I don't think we're going to... I think that's just there. I think that might just be a thing for 
universe mode. I don't know why. I tried taking it out. There is nothing to take out. It's just there. So it's fine. But we got JC Jane, three-time Women's Intercontinental Champion. Three-time Women's Intercontinental Champion. She was unable to win that gauntlet match last week. Liv Morgan put in some work to become the number one contender for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. By the way, I've confirmed next week we are going to see the rematch of Tiffany Stratton and Indy Hartwell. Not for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. I feel weird interfering with, I mean, Liv Morgan and Indy Hartwell's thing. But they haven't even interacted. It's been freaking Tiffany Stratton and Indy Hartwell and Tiffany Stratton and Liv Morgan. Tiffany very upset about the, the count out loss uh, at Elimination Chamber. But we're going to have Tiffany versus Indy next week. May, I don't know. We, we're we're going to have to see how that match plays out before I make any decision. But right now, it's about the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament. This is a feud that is just going to be forever lasting, I believe. JC Jane screwed over by her own best friend, Gigi Dolan. The moment Gigi lost the Women's Championship, she turned on JC Jane. It's a little ridiculous. A little ridiculous why she did that but you know gg ended up winning the women's intercontinental championship from jc in the process jc won it back but uh yeah you know wait what the hell wait a minute wait a minute jc she's wait a minute Gigi's oh. <laughs> oh no Gigi was making her entrance jc jane was a little impatient <laughs> waiting for her to get in there and the brawl is spilled out to the outside well, what a way to start this tournament off. Gigi and J we already told you, these two want to kill each other. Oh, no. On the steel grating on the stage, on the ramp. Oh, and again. And the second longest reigning women's champion of all time. Looking to do what she's done oh, multiple times before, and that's put JC Jane down. JC ended up winning the final match between these two and I don't think that settled in very well with Gigi yeah look at it there's like holes and like black stuff all like everywhere on the ramp in the on the floor what's that about I think that's just maybe a glitch maybe we got to fix that once the day one patches settle in I don't know JC tossing Gigi onto the floor man oh man Brutal, absolutely brutal. Gigi throwing JC back inside the ring. And this match just now officially started, and we're turning over. Oh no! JC's gonna have to reach out and grab the ropes, but no, instead, escapes immediately. This is unbelievable. Code breaker. I completely forgot this was a sanctioned wrestling match until this bell rang. We could have potentially seen these two fight each other last week if it wasn't for Morgan doing what she did in that gauntlet. Oh, God. And a immediate rope right there. JC needed to drag her away from the ropes. If that stays as a thing, by the way, I am taking away rope breaks. Because there's no way that, you know, you can't have time to hook the leg before the referee gets down for the count. That's a little ridiculous. I'm going to take rope breaks off, you know, if that's still here in like two to three weeks. But here we go, GG. Oh, God. These two were best friends. They defended championships alongside each other. You know what I mean? JC and GG helped each other defend the Women's Championship and the Women's Intercontinental Championship as part of Toxic Attraction. Wait a minute, off the backstabber, color. And JC kicking out at two. Look at this. Oh. Gigi, the most dominant woman of 2023 by a mile, winning the championship in a triple threat match between Bailey, who was the champion at the time, and JC Jane. To be fair, I mean, Gigi won that title, defended against everybody, including men, over a, a good six month period. And she'd end up losing it to the number one contender to the Women's Intercontinental Championship currently, Liv Morgan. But a huge title reign for Gigi. Ended up winning the Women's Intercontinental Championship later on in the year from JC Jane. That title reign didn't last too long. Oh, God. Kick right to the side of the head of Gigi Dolan. Look at this. JC off the ropes. 
Slamming down or dropping down, splashing down. One of those was correct on GG, but here we go. Oh my God. What the hell is it? Black, what is it? Oh, JC stole the GG driver. We saw last week JC stole Liv Morgan's Oblivion. It seems like that's been her specialty these last few weeks. JC just took the GG driver. GG kicks out of it. Come on now. Come on now. What a start. This is crazy. JC couldn't put GG away. Another splash off the ropes. Wearing Gigi's body down move after move, but Gigi trying to get up to her feet. Look at this. Settles for sitting in the in the corner. Referee's got to get the hell out of the way, brother. Oh, man. Gigi up on her feet. She's had enough. STO sort of to JC Jane. And the momentum is switched just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at the way. Uh-oh. Uh, is this a submission hold? Is this, is this counter submission? Oh, it might. No, JC again gets out of it immediately. Goes for a cover and a kick out. Irish whip reversed. GG off the ropes. Drops down on JC Jane. <laughs> what a sequence from both women. That was unbelievable. GG on the attack still as this match goes on. We are really going back and forth here. One of these women will be meeting either Ch Ch oh God, Chelsea Green, who will be debuting later on tonight, or Becky Lynch for an opportunity. Uh-oh, an opportunity in round two of the Queen of the Ring tournament. JC doing everything in her power to shut Gigi Dolan down. Very evenly, evenly matched. These two know each other so well. I can't effing talk today. God. All the damage on the arm. Look at JC taking time to talk to the crowd too. I mean, this is a hockey JC Jane. I don't think we've seen this side of her in a long time since she's been a part of Toxic Attraction. She really feels like she's got this match won and she just might prove herself right here. Oh, there it is. Discus kick, knocking Gigi Dolan's lights out. Oh! No way. No, no. Gigi with a roll up. Oh my God. Oh, dude, can you imagine? How the hell, first of all, she kicked out of her own finisher, which is unbelievable. But she kicked out of JC's freaking creme de la creme, the, the discus kick, which I can't believe. We are, I mean, we already know the resilience of Gigi Dolan, what she's able to do in these big time matches. But she's been getting her ass kicked for a lot of this match and she's still able to hang in there. It's unreal. What the hell is gonna have to give? Gigi with JC Dolan up and off the top rope. She's got a lot of coming back to do. She's got a lot of fighting back to do. But JC cutting her off at every possible moment. Whipping her into the ropes. Misses the elbow. Wait, missed a couple of things. But Gigi, she's stunned. She's a little dazed. And JC taking advantage. Suplex, but the fatigue is set in on JC Jane, who is slow to get up to her feet. I mean, what is it going to take to put this woman away? JC already proved that she can beat Gigi Dolan months ago, but man, in this rematch, she can't seem to get the job done that easily. Oh my God, could this be the time? There it is. I think that might be it right there into the cover on Gigi Dolan for the win to move on to round two, and she got her. It took a lot. It took a hell of a lot to do it. Mind you, the way Gigi Dolan got to the top of the women's division was by winning last year's Queen of the Ring tournament. It did not happen tonight. Gigi will not be having a repeat of last year. She won't even be going to Walker Mania, which is crazy considering the 2023 she had. JC Jane could have an opportunity to take her spot 
as the leader of this women's division, but we got a lot uh, of tournament matches to go, including later tonight, Becky Lynch versus Chelsea Green. But up next, it is time for Roman Reigns to once again defend the Hardcore Championship. He is on a warpath to Walker Mania 6. Walker Mania would be the 10th successful defense of Roman Reigns, which would make him the next number one contender for the WWE Championship, which is going to be a crazy situation because we already got Cody Rhodes being the winner of the Royal Rumble. We already got the King of the Ring tournament happening. When the hell would Roman even fight for the WWE title? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But right now, we're going to see who Roman Reigns will face in the open challenge for the hardcore title it's extreme rules false cut anywhere and that's up next oh man who's gonna answer the challenge for the hardcore championship who is it gonna be oh my god oh my god Folks, I didn't think we'd ever see him on Monday Night Walker, but oh my God. Making his debut, it's Dominic Mysterio. Oh my goodness. Wow. Folks, well, nobody has been able to take the Hardcore Championship off of Roman Reigns in God knows how long. Tonight could be a different story. What? I mean, we already were going to have a debut later tonight with Chelsea Green. Holy smokes. I mean, I'm at a loss for words, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at a loss for words. Dirty Dominic Mysterio, I'll have you know. Sure is taking a sweet old time to get into the ring. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, my God. crowd does not seem to enjoy this but you could be looking at the next hardcore champion right here in Dominic Mysterio wow well what a first match for him to have real talk <laughs> dude nobody for the last couple of weeks has been able to take the title off of Roman Reigns it started off with Grayson Waller, who was the hardcore champion at the time. Roman Reigns made his mark, getting in there, getting his opportunity, winning the hardcore title. Who has he been defending it against? Hold on, I gotta find out myself, real talk. Uh, who the hell? Yeah, okay, so it was Grayson Waller was the first one. He was the first victim, but that didn't really count for nothing. That didn't count for the uh, for the for the amount of wins he needs to become the number one contender. However, he went through Shinsuke Nakamura, who took the championship off of Roman Reigns the last time Reigns was Hardcore Champion. Reigns shook that off and beat him in pretty pretty decisively as well, which is kind of nuts. Uh, he went through Austin Theory, who had a really good 2023 with the Intercontinental Championship, beating The Undertaker. Then we go to Elimination Chamber, where he defeated The Rock, the man who took the Intercontinental Championship off of Roman Reigns a couple of years ago at SummerSlam. Reigns is just seeming like he's taken the demons that he's had previously, and he's putting them in the damn ground. And then last week, we had the debut of Ilya Dragunov on Monday Night Walker. Ilya had a very good chance to put down the Tribal Chief, but it wasn't enough. And here we go tonight. Dominic Mysterio making his debut. Can he do it? We're going to find out right now. Introducing the challenger 
from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the hardcore champion, Roman Reigns. Dude, this game looks sick. Like, it's, I'm having so much fun playing 2k24 like genuinely so much fun i hope you guys have been enjoying the last couple universe mode episodes obviously next week we're gonna have a lot of logos and stuff we're gonna have the monday night walker logo on you know the things that we need to have it on we're gonna have you know the uh the stage looking right with the logo on and everything this is kind of the the pre-official arena but this is ever this is what it's gonna look like for the year i hope you all enjoy the presentation of it i hope you all enjoy the colors of everything uh give me some feedback provide me some feedback in the comments but here we go Hardcore Championship is on the line. And the bell is rung. Dominic trying to make an immediate impact for the neck breaker, but Reigns cut that motherfucker off. <laughs> Here we go. Stomping away on the ribs and a roll for him right to the side of the head of Dominic. I mean, this is a great opportunity to make a name for yourself. Just cutting off Roman Reigns' chance of going to Walker Mania, taking the Hardcore Championship off of him. And starting your own path to that show. Yourself but Reigns. Oh, oh no. Huge boot to the mush. And Reigns is flowing right now. You're not going to see any rope breaks in this match. Hardcore championship rules. Falls count anywhere. Extreme rules. That anything goes here. And we're seeing that right here. Dominic with an early kick out. But this match is just getting started. He's going to have to fight back because Reigns is killing this poor kid. Who's trying to make an impact? My goodness. What is Reigns thinking here? He's going to the outside of the ring. Are we already going to see a weapon used here from the hardcore champion? I think we might. What is he taking now? We got a table, folks. We got a table. Dom Dom off the top. What? Off the top rope. But it didn't do Jack Diddley. He, he missed. I guess he missed. Weird ass situation, but all right. DDT from Dominic on the floor. And Reigns immediately getting up to his feet, but oh boy. Oh, Frankensteiner from Dominic. Reigns folded in half. Oh boy. What a turnaround this could be. Crowd can't even believe it. They're stunned. And look at the way Dominic is unloading on the hardcore champion. Oh! Swinging reins around into what looked like an inverted DDT. And, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this. But, oh, no, never mind. I was going to say Dominic has shut this match down. Oh, but a Saito suplex from Reigns. Shaking off whatever Dominic's been able to do for the last, you know, couple of minutes. We introduce a table to no avail. I mean, we haven't even been in the ring since Roman went to the outside. And granted, we don't need to. This match could end on the outside of the ring. It could end in the crowd. It could end in your mama's house. Either way, this match is going to come to a conclusion somewhere in the world. Oh, man. Off the knee, Dominic trying to shake that off. Can't do it. Instead, Reigns is going to send Dominic off the apron face first. Man, this match has completely turned around once again in favor of the Tribal Chief. Suplex on the outside into a cover. Just trying to put this kid away as quick as possible. Oh, and Dominic with a kick out. Reigns can't believe that one. I can't believe it. This man, he's been playing the long game here with these championship defenses. Get hit with as you know little weapons as possible. Preserve your energy for next week. But it seems like more and more, as the weeks go on, the hungrier these guys get. These guys want to be on Walker Mania. I don't blame them. Ugh. But how can you count out? How can you freaking say, you know, maybe Roman Reigns is in trouble? I don't think I've ever said that once in my entire life. Oh, man, uppercut doesn't hit the mark. Dominic finally getting some moves in for himself. Dropkick to the back. That takes down Roman Reigns. 
This hardcore championship match has been insane so far, and we I'm assuming we're supposed to go into the ring. That this game is uh is is freaking out on me. Don't like that. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? Oh man, we're going. Are we? I'm assuming going to the apron again. No, Dominic sending Reigns into the ring. We still got that table in here. What is Mysterio thinking? No, thinking nothing but a big boot again, and that busts Dominic open. He's trying to shake it off. What? What the hell? Oh God! Back and forth, trading these damn punches here, trading blows. Dominic with a couple of slaps to the to the clavicle of Reigns. Oh, God, look at the way the Tribal Chief is shutting this poor kid down, opening up the wounds just a little bit more. It's bad enough Dominic started bleeding with that big boot, but he went into a punch-for-punch a, a punch battle with Roman Reigns. Oh, God, and Dominic lost. It's his first match here on Monday Night Walker ever. I mean, what a match to have. A hardcore title match with one of the most dominant men in this series' history. Give me a damn break, brother. Dominic off the ropes, bleeding and all. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, but Dominic reversed. Neck breaker. Dominic reversed the Superman punch. That might have been the most important reversal of this kid's short career in this series so far. We got weapons in this ring, but no weapon has been used yet. Look at the blood pouring down the face of the newly debuting Dominic Mysterio. This kid is not backing down from the Tribal Chief, but look at the way Chief... Uh-oh. Dominic's got a chair. He's taunting with it, but doesn't get it in. Dominic took way too much time. And Reigns with a fireman's carry. What is he thinking here? Just drops Dominic down onto his face. Are we going for a cover? We sure are. I mean, this poor guy has been through hell in this match. Ooh, a kick out. Reigns can't believe it, but he got to do a lot more. He reversed that Superman punch. I mean, I don't know what the hell you thought that was, it was going to be. Maybe he thought it was going to be enough. Whatever. It wasn't. This match continues. Oh, spear. Oh, my God. Cutting this kid in half. Oh. <laughs> Folks, this match is going to continue. Dominic Mysterio kicking out. And this hardcore championship match is not over. But Reigns with a sledgehammer. Oh, my God. Is winning that serious to you? I mean, I get it. But, damn, you got to kill the... He's, this is his first match. His first match, you're going to kill him with a sledgehammer. Goodness gracious. Oh my God, oh my God, Dominic, no way. Hit him with a suplex. How about another one? Are we going for the trifecta? Here we are. Three amigos. No chance. Oh my God, Dominic into the cover on Roman Reigns. No, oh my, come on. Come on, a one count. A one count. Referee wasn't even, even able to get to two. Oh my God, Reigns went for a baseball slot. Instead, he's a kendo stick to the face. Dominic swinging for the... Uh-oh. Reigns has been cut open himself from Dominic. And he is unloading with that kendo stick. Reigns able to shake it off, able to reverse. But has enough damage been done? Mysterio trying to get back in this thing, but Reigns so aggressive. Oh, man. We are really going back and forth. Reigns up on his feet again. <laughs> Just look at the weapons all around the ring, dude. Unbelievable turn of events in this match so far. Reigns going to the outside. What is he thinking? Are we seriously going to go for another weapon? What haven't we used yet? I'll tell you what we haven't used yet. We got a damn ladder. We got tables. We got ladders. We got trash cans, kendo sticks, sledgehammers. My goodness, blood. There's blood all over the ring. Reigns looking to mercifully end it with a power bomb. End the wall. Yeah, he does. I think that was a good idea. It might have been a lot worse for Dominic Mysterio if he had kicked out of that power bomb. 
champion, Roman What a first match, though, for Mysterio. I'm sure he's going to do big things here on Monday Night Walker. But for now, defense number five is in the books. Reigns retains again. We are pretty much halfway to him becoming the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Oh, baby, I can't. I mean, the next five weeks are going to be very, very, very interesting. Oh, boy. Well, up next, it is the return. Well, not return. Cody Rhodes is in action once again. Up next, trying to build more momentum for himself on the way to Walker Mania. I'm sure Sami Zayn is close by watching. But we got Cody versus the former Intercontinental Champion, the Nigerian Giant Omos. I can't wait for that match. And that's up next. Oh, boy. Well, here we go. Last week, we saw Cody Rhodes take down Trick Williams in a pretty hard-fought match, by the way. Cody Rhodes trying to build some momentum for himself. He's going to have to try to do it against the Nigerian giant Omos, former Intercontinental Champion. Somebody who was looking, itching to get another win under his belt. And I'm sure he's going to do it at the expense of Cody Rhodes. I'm sure he'll have no problem doing that. But Cody, he's got a main event of Walker Mania 6 coming, looming against the new WWE Champion Sami Zayn. Now, there's got to be a little bit of bad blood between these two. These two haven't even, haven't even interacted yet, Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes. But the difference between the both of them is last week, no matter the circumstances, of course, Cody Rhodes had a one-on-one -on -one match. Sami Zayn had a fatal four-way match. Cody Rhodes won his match against Trick Williams and the WWE Champion last week tapped out. I feel like that automatically makes Cody Rhodes seem like the favorite to win the main event of Walker Mania. Sami Zayn has to feel like the underdog and that's gotta sit really, really badly inside Sami Zayn. He's already had heard a lot in his last WWE Championship run. People called him a fluke. People called him a paper champion. People called him incapable of successfully defending the championship, you know, under, under clean circumstances. And we're going to go in the main event of Walker Mania with everybody already assuming that Cody Rhodes is going to take the championship off of Sami Zayn. So I'm sure that's got to sit bad for him. Meanwhile, this man It was a rough go for Omos oh, A crazy Intercontinental Championship match back at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view Between Omos and Gunta, the new Intercontinental Champion Very quick match, but a very awesome match That match was sick Omos no longer the Intercontinental Champion. Of course, he went through Carmelo Hayes to get the championship and then defeated Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble to retain the championship. But now he's got no path to Walker Mania, no King of the Ring tournament, no nothing. It is just him, an angry man, having to sit with the fact that he's not going to be on the show. And I'm sure that's going to freaking set in to him in this match. He's going to face the man who's going to be main eventing the show that he's not able to be on anymore. Omos has a story to tell, and he's going to tell it by beating the hell out of the winner of the 2024 Royal Rumble, Cody Rhodes. Here we go. Cody's going to have to... Oh, man! Well, Cody's going to have to shake off all of the aggression that Omos is going to bring to him in this match and dig from down deep in order to put Omos away for a three count, and what a great way to start. Huge reversal, springboard, drop kick, good lord, into a cover immediately... Oh my God! I was like, "Wow, that recount is going a little, uh, a little fast." There, I was like, "Is, is that going to be three? But no. Cody tried to grab him, wasn't able to do it. Omos shoved him off, and a big body slam there from the Nigerian Giant. That is seven feet, over seven feet. I want to say seven foot four, four hundred pounds of beef that Cody Rhodes has to deal with in this matchup. But he's doing a good job of keeping the pressure. 
Can't believe he just give, gave him an arm drag like it's nothing, like it's a damn cruise away. What are we smoking, doinks? Side rush and leg sweep. Back rolls out of it into a cover. That was beautiful looking. And again, a one count from Omas. Cody unable to do anything past a, a, a one count here so far in this match. However, we're just getting started, folks. Look at this, Cody. Oh, man. Right to the ankle of Omas. He's clutching at it. And look at this. He, Cody saw it. He saw Omas clutching at his ankle and took advantage. Figure four leg lock there. And Omas immediately rolling over, reversing the pressure. Cody regretting putting in that hold. And both men... We're going to stalemate now, folks. Why would you go ahead and taunt? Cody going to go for it again. He caught him a second time. Figure four. And Omas again fights his way out of it. What? What? Omas clutching at his leg. He's down, but Sami Zayn, that's Sami Zayn, the WWE champ. We already spoke about him. The jealousy he's got to have it in his soul here against Cody Rhodes, providing a little bit of a distraction there. That's a little... Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Sami Zayn. Oh, the steel chair, but Cody caught him. Cody caught him. What? A referee, you're not ringing the bell? Sammy. Oh! Trying to catch him with a steel chair, and the fight now has been taken between both of these guys. The referee has not rang the bell. He's letting it play out. All right, shout out to the referee, I guess. But Cody, so distracted with Sami Zayn that Omos was able to take advantage. Oh, wow. what a moment that was. Sami failed at his attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crazy match this has turned into, folks. Sammy entered with a steel chair to no avail. Cody brought the fight to Sammy. Referee letting them play, letting them fight, by the way. Not calling for the bell. Shout out to the referee for letting it continue. But Sammy did get a couple of elbows. In any other circumstance, that would be, you know, proper call for disqualification. I wouldn't have been mad if he did ring the bell. I mean, that's how wrestling works. However, the referee letting it play. He's letting these two fight it out. But the WWE Champion, with severe jealousy in his body, tried to halt Cody Rhodes' momentum in this matchup. But regardless of whatever the hell happened just then, this match continues. Oh my God, face first into the corner. Goes Cody and Omos with a clothesline. Dropping a knee on Rhodes. Side rushing leg sweep. This match is insane so far. Later tonight, I mean, the last two matches we got for y'all on this show is the uh, next match in the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament, and a which is going to be Chelsea Green versus Becky Lynch, and then AJ Styles versus Austin Theory. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cody with a DDT on Omas. What is he planning on doing here? He's going to the top rope. Cody with an elbow drop. And the winner of the Royal Rumble looking to put this match away. Off the elbow drop from the top rope. But a kick out from Omas. Delays that from happening. Oh, uh-oh. How much blood are we seeing on this show, folks? We have seen a lot so far, especially in that hardcore championship match. Omas, it seems like that blood, though, on his end, woke him up just a little bit, slamming Cody down. What an upset this would be. Omas. Oh, my God. That tree slam into the cover to pin the winner of the Royal Rumble. Oh, Cody kicks out. That was Omas's bread and butter. He's won the Intercontinental Championship with that exact move. But Cody was able to stay in it. Oh, man. Elbow to the face. You got to imagine Cody's a little bit clogged. His mind's a little bit clouded with the interference from Sami Zayn. 
He's got that on the brain. He's a little distracted, I understand, but you can't let that affect you. As you continue on in this match, you got to make a statement. You got to keep the pressure on to the direct message to the WWE Champion. Man, oh man, this is a fight between these two. Omos once again with Cody Rhodes up. And off the top rope, and there's some blood from the American Nightmare. You see it right down the middle of the forehead. But Cody looking to go for another springboard, maybe disaster kick. Omos caught him. But Cody catches him. Oh, what a dodge. Back and forth we go. The former Intercontinental Champion is putting on a show right now against the winner of the Royal Rumble, Cody Rhodes. What is Omos going to have to do to put this man away? We already saw that tree slam not get the job done. Oh, man, stomping on the back of Cody's head. That's a cover. Is that going to be enough to put Rhodes away? Oh, my God. I thought, I thought Omos was going to hit the referee right there. But this match is going to continue. Man, Cody's getting used and abused right here. Omos looking for another tree slam. Cody reversed it. The biggest reversal of this match. But Omos rolling over. No chance. Oh, my God. Oh. That could have been it right there. Omos. He doesn't even think he real. Cody. 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 You just let it happen. Why'd you do that? What the hell? Crazy matches has been, man. Cody can't seem to get a hold on him. The size advantage, Sami Zayn's distracted. It just seems like ever since that happened, Cody's mind has been clogged. Cody's mind has been has been has been clouded. Oh. And the wear and tear on the body of Cody Rhodes is starting to show. No movement in the American Nightmare whatsoever. Omos has taken complete control of this match. And look at this. Just a couple of shots. How about another? Right to the gut. Yeah, taking Rhodes right down to his knees. Pause on that, however, Rhodes. Up to his feet. And again, look at this. Omos is putting in the work, man. This is, this is uncomfortable. This is getting seriously uncomfortable. Cody's got to roll to the outside. I, I don't blame him. Sammy did exactly what he wanted to do. I mean, he wanted to hit him with a steel chair. But he wanted to get in his head more than anything. And I think that worked. I think he did exactly that. He is in this man's head big time. Oh, my God. I mean, when is enough going to be enough? Referee at four. Is there any stopping Omos? It doesn't look like it. This man has taken control of this match. And man, it is a god. Relax. Referee's at seven. He's telling Cody Rhodes to get back into the ring. You see Cody trying to fight. He's not backing down at all from Omos. But he might have to here. No, Cody blocked it again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A desperate cover. A desperate cover from the American Nightmare on Omos. But it's not enough. Cody's trying. He, you, see, you know he's tired. You know he's out of it. Oh, my God. Couple of punches. Couple of strikes. Omos gets sent into the corner. This is a flurry that Cody Rhodes has needed for the last five minutes. He's finally getting something in on Omos. But he's got to keep the pressure on. A lot of limb targeting. He's doing a great job of it. Crossroads into the cover. Oh my God. Crowd does not like that one. Not enough damage has been done to this man to allow Cody Rhodes to win this match. Crowd thought it was over. Crowd thought it could have been. Oh my God. Look at the strength on Cody. What the fuck? Cody on the middle row calling for Omos to get. What a match this has been, dude. Drop kick. A drop kick from Rhodes. Oh my goodness gracious. 
These two are killing each other. Omos. Oh, no. Cody's got it in motion right now. He's locked in, folks. I would just go for a cover, real talk. I feel like Omos might be a little out of it. The momentum has completely shifted in Cody Rhodes' favor. You want to talk about Sami Zayn being the underdog. Cody Rhodes has proven why he is next in line for the WWE Championship cross Rhodes a second time. And somehow, someway, Cody Rhodes has defeated Omos. Wow. Wow. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Folks, Cody, even with Sami Zayn's distraction, even with the aggression that Omos brought to him for the entirety of this match, Cody was able to withstand all of it and persevere once again. That can't sit well with Sami Zayn at all. We're gonna see how that story progresses. We're gonna see the winner of the 2024 Women's Royal Rumble match, Charlotte Flair, make her return next week. But up next, we got the last two matches in uh, the, sh well, the last two matches of the show are gonna be another match in the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament. And in our main event is gonna be the second match in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. But we're gonna get to the Queen of the Ring tournament next. Chelsea Green making her debut against Becky Lynch. Here we go. Well, here we go. We got the debut of Chelsea. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, oh, come on now. Chelsea was holding out her hand for a, a handshake and just slapped Becky Lynch across. That's a great way to start your freaking day. Oh, no. Great way to start this freaking uh, career here on Monday Night Walker. Chelsea Green with immediate advantage over Becky Lynch, slapping the shit out of her. And it's complete. Uh oh. Starting this match off hot, but it didn't last too long. Becky back on the, on the momentum here. Chelsea back up to her feet. Becky Lynch. We've already seen a debut tonight in Dominic Mysterio. Chelsea trying to make just as big of an impact on Becky Lynch. And look at this. She's doing a hell of a good job right now putting the pressure on. I mean, that's a, a crazy way to start your career is by slapping former women's champion Becky Lynch across the mush. Oh, my God. Look how far Becky is away from Chelsea Green. Oh, a cross body in the top. Crowd didn't seem too impressed from now on. I'm, I'm impressed. But, oh, man, we're going up the ramp here. Of The winner of this match will face J.C. Jane next week in the second, or not next week, in two weeks in the second round of the Queen of the Ring tournament. Chelsea back into the ring. Becky Lynch. Oh, pulls her back into a knee to the ribs. And I know Becky's got to be pissed after what Chelsea did at the start of this match between these two and here we go back and forth Chelsea is not backing down I think everybody viewed her as a joke going into this thing I mean you saw the bracket and people were like alright well you know Chelsea's winning or sorry Becky's winning but Chelsea I think might have taken offense to that I think she knows everyone thinks Becky Lynch has got this one in the bag immediately and but she's holding her own look at this okay oh my god both women testing each other. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dude, all right. God damn. My goodness. Chelsea's got to roll to the outside. I, I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. Becky, dive into the outside. Crazy, crazy match so far, man. Referee counting both women out. I'd hate to see this match end in a count out for real. Oh. We are on the road to Walker Mania 6. One of these women very much could be going to Walker Mania to compete in the final of the Queen of the Ring tournament. We got a few matches to go. But what an upset win it would be for Chelsea Green if she was able to put Becky Lynch away for a three count. Oh, man. 
but Becky not trying to make that happen. Look at the way she is shutting this woman down with these elbow drops. Chelsea's had enough, getting up to her feet and getting back into the ring to avoid a potential count out there. That was smart as hell from Green. Becky toying with her. What is she thinking here? Oh, man. Into a cover. Maybe. Thanks for coming, Chelsea Green. I don't know. Oh, no. Chelsea, a very, very late two count, but she gets the shoulder up. Becky going for a leg drop. Doesn't meet the mark. What a dodge from Chelsea Green. Another slap across the face. It's going to feel familiar for Becky Lynch. And a drop kick to the back. You've got to be kidding me. There's no way. There's absolutely no way this is about to happen. No chance. Becky with an immediate kick out. Oh, God. That has got to be a little uh, disheartening for Chelsea Green, who really has been putting in the work this match, but Becky didn't even give the referee a chance to start this freaking count. Uh-oh. No, Chelsea reverses the suplex attempt. Goes from behind. What is she thinking? Irish whip. No, Becky with the reversal. Drop kick. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Becky slow to get up, though. She had the immediate kick out before. But I think she's starting to feel it a little bit. Not trying to let it get to her, though. This match is insane. This match has been insane. Between these two. Oh, my God. Oh, no, Becky reversed it. I thought we were going to see some type of Selena Del Sol action or whatever the hell. Inst oh, my God. Did Chelsea just reverse? I think she might have reversed a manhandle slam. I don't know. I don't know what the hell either woman have been going for here. But none of them have been able to get it done. Irish whip from Becky. The man is fatigued, folks. Chop to the chest. A couple of chops to Chelsea Green. God, that's this is this has been brutal so far. We already saw a late two count before Becky though, and I can't put Chelsea Green away. Oh, she's gonna have to do a lot more. What is it gonna take? Ends a Gurry from Lynch. Chelsea caught the kick, but it meant nothing. I don't know how to get Samantha Irvin as my ring announcer. By the way, I'm pretty pissed. I kind of wanted her to be the one on the show but that's okay no offense to mike rome or nothing but you know, becky picking up chelsea what is she thinking here going from behind oh man well here we go this is going to be the biggest reversal potentially at chelsea green's young career so far she's going to have to do something here no becky manhandle slam oh my god oh my god but she's tired She's tired. Becky doesn't have the strength to, to get into the cover. Chelsea's down. This could be it. She could. Oh, my God. She manages to get a cover, but has enough time passed for Chelsea Green to kick out. No, it has not. Wow. Wow. I mean, man. Chelsea Green tried to make a huge impact here. I'm sure she will as time will go on. But Becky with the win tonight. She is going to round two. So we already know in two weeks it'll be Becky Lynch versus JC Jane. And one of those women is going to Walker Mania. I can't wait for that. We're going to figure out uh, who that's going to be next week. Or no, in two weeks. <laughs> Up next, it is our main event. It is the leader of the CWO, AJ Styles, uh, facing against Austin Theory. We're going to get to everything that's been going on between both of those men. Up next, it is the first round. It is the second round. Second match. My God. Second match in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Let's do it. Folks, I got some news. I mean, Austin Theory has challenged AJ Styles in this match. Mind you, this is for in the King of the Ring tournament. Theory has challenged Styles to a no disqualification match, which is insane. I, I, maybe Fury doesn't feel like he can get it done on his own. AJ Styles, the longest reigning WWE champion of all time in World Walker Entertainment. I get it. I get it. Weighing in at 218 pounds, 
Theory is trying to prevent AJ Styles from going to Walker Mania. Theory trying to get there himself. So, I mean, I get why you maybe want to do a notice qualification match because you feel like you might have some type of advantage um, if, you know, you have a, a weapon in your hand. But the thing is, AJ Styles has the same accessibility as you do to these weapons. That might backfire on Austin Theory, but AJ Styles has accepted. This was literally right before these two are going to walk out here. We have made that official. A no disqualification match. All right. I, I mean, cool, no rope breaks. Hey, we already saw a hardcore title match earlier between the debuting Dominic Mysterio and uh, Roman Reigns. AJ Styles, the leader of the CWO. The CWO has been going through a little bit of a rough patch as of late. Of course, we already saw everything with Matt Riddle in the WWE Championship with Kevin Owens. AJ Styles, you know, uh, Kevin Owens has felt like he's been getting in the way of maybe getting the championship back that he kind of lost uh, controversially. But, you know, I think the fact that Kevin Owens was still wearing the CWO attire and AJ Styles in the Elimination Chamber goes to show that we're fine. Bailey also in the CWO. Um, you know, these two, these three are a unit. It used to be four, it used to be five. But it seems like every couple of years the foundation has been cracking. But hopefully everything's fine between Styles and Owens. Bailey obviously caught between a rock and a hard place there. She just has not gotten involved. She's been rocking the CWO gear in all of her matches. She still believes in the team. I still believe in the CWO. But we'll cross that bridge later when we get to it. CWO, I mean, we're not even thinking about that right now. We're thinking about AJ Styles and his path back to the WWE Championship. It starts tonight, and it starts against Austin Theory in the first round match for the King of the Ring Tournament. Well, here we go. Bella's wrong, and Styles immediately with an arm drag. You're gonna see a lot of aggression from AJ Styles. He's had to go through a lot as of late. He's dealt with a lot with his own faction. He's dealt with a lot trying to get to the WWE Championship. It, it, you know, Finn Balor over the last year, it's, it's just a lot has been stopping AJ Styles from achieving the greatness that he had in the entirety of 2022. But this could be the, the, the stepping stone of that, of, of starting, you know, anew tonight. He, but he's going to have to go through Austin Theory, who ha had a great 2020, well, 2023 himself winning the Intercontinental Championship, holding it for a pretty decent amount of time, defeating, you know, John Cena, defeating a lot of people to retain that title, beating The Undertaker for the first time ever. The Undertaker taking a loss at, at Walker Mania. It was to Austin Theory in one of the best matches of the year. I was going to actually do a top 10 match of the year for this show. But uh, I opted out not to in replace of, oh my God, of, of uh, the New Year's episode of Monday Night Walker. Styles rolling over into the cover and Styles at Fury with a kick out. Fury still with a lot to prove in World Walk Entertainment. Still feels like he hasn't done enough to be taken as seriously as he feels like he should be taken. Oh man, Styles blocks the third punch, which I believe would have taken Theory off the apron. Look at the super kick to AJ Styles. Off the ropes, and oh man, dropping down goes Austin Theory, leapfrog, and a knee. Oh, goes for a knee to the gut. Styles blocks that. Drop kick right to the face of Theory. What is this now? Styles over the top rope. Kind of a, a leg drop, kind of. And I guess it's no disqualification. Is the referee counting them out? It's no DQ, but okay. Why is the why it's it's supposed to be a no disqualification match? What the hell? Am I tweaking? <laughs> Am I tweaking? <laughs> Whatever. Fury whipping AJ Styles. Oh man, I do believe that it is no DQ. I'm like Pretty positive. I'm sorry. What Siri just activated and scared the shit out of me. Okay. Fireman's Cow for Austin Theory. Oh man. No way. Could that possibly be enough right there? I mean, give me a break. No, Styles with an immediate kick out. Referee might have taken a little bit too long to get in the position there for a cover. But man, Styles is bleeding. 
And look at Theory stomping away. And wait a minute, Kevin Owens. Kevin, this is a no disqualification match. Kevin Owens trying to get involved, sticking up for his partner here, sticking up for. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? No! No! Kevin Owens just just turned. Oh, oh my god! Oh my! I can't believe that. Styles. This is, again, no disqualification. Kevin Owens just turned on AJ Styles. Oh, my God. Dude, we were talking about the CWO surviving everything that's happened between, you know, Matt Riddle and Kevin Owens, you know, Styles sort of getting in the way of Kevin Owens getting to the WWE Championship. And, I mean... They, they fought each other in the Elimination Chamber match, but... Dude, what the hell? Kevin Owens just... just I didn't think we'd ever see it. I, I thought those two... I mean, I understand Riddle and, and Kevin Owens. Make sort of. But, I mean... Dude, dude the CWO is over. The CWO is over. Dude, Bailey has, has been repping this team. So is Styles. He has been trying to freaking build this team back up. And Kevin Owens just, he just, dude, we, I can't, I can't even commentate this match right. I can't, I can't even, oh my God. Fury with a low blow on AJ Styles, who stays in it, but good Lord. Come on now. It's too much. The man just got his... I mean, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. The CWO is the longest reigning tag team. One of them. in, in The longest reigning faction in the history of this series. And it was just put to an end just now by kevin owens dude i'm 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 heartbroken styles he's still trying to win this match he's he's still trying there's still an opportunity for styles to go to the next round of the king of the ring tournament but after that after what just happened and the low blow from austin theory i don't know if, if i don't know if we're gonna see that real talk i don't know theory trying to clean up on AJ, into the cover, puts the forearm right in the face. Styles kicking out still. But, uh, dude, what the fuck? Fury just taking complete advantage of what we've just seen. I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm absolutely heartbroken. And now Fury gonna do some more damage with a kendo stick. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Is this, I mean, is it bad enough what this guy has effing gone through in this damn match? You're gonna, you're gonna do this? I get it, I get it. You wanna put him away, I understand. But holy shit, man. It's too much. Oh man, Fury's bleeding as well. I mean, was this a plan all along? We already saw. I mean, it's Theory challenged Styles to the no disqualification match. I think now we know why. I think Kevin Owens put a little word in his ear saying, hey, let me at him. It's, it's ridiculous. And now Theory going to pick up the pieces. A-Town down goes AJ Styles. Styles kicks out. Oh my God. Even after everything, Styles able to kick out of Theory's bread and butter here, folks. I think Styles is pissed now. Styles is pissed. We saw he was heartbroken. Now he's angry. AJ going to the top rope. Elbow drop to the chest, looking to put Theory away. But he can't do it yet. Oh, man. 
I'm sweating. I'm sweating. What the hell did we just see, folks? I, 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 I still can't believe it. I, I really can't. Man. How many years? It's been like three years. Oh, but we got rope breaks in. Are you fucking kidding me? In a no disqualification match? Are you serious? So you can use weapons, but you can get counted out. And I mean, what is the rope break for? I mean, what the fuck? Theory died to the outside, but he misses. He misses. This match is going to continue. I'm, I'm. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. The CWO is, is over. Within, with. It all started in January 1st, man, when Riddle cashed in on Kevin Owens. Styles tried to stick. Styles tried to stick up for Kevin Owens. That's what the whole reason. I mean, Styles became the number one contender for the WWE Championship to help. I mean, to, to try to get revenge for Kevin Owens. But Owens thought that Styles was getting in the way. It was inadvertent. And ever since then, it just hasn't been the same. And now here we are. I'm, I'm, where does Bailey fall in all this, by the way? I don't even know. Fury trying to pick up the pieces. Look at this. Come on now. Styles able to kick out again. Fury can't believe it, but he's trying to put it away for one, once and for all. He, no. Oh my God. AJ Styles with a reversal. That would have been insane. To get turned on like that and then still lose. But Styles has got to, he's got to do something. He has not been able to get anything going on Austin Theory for a little while now. Drop kick. He gets a drop kick on Theory. And Styles, oh my God. Is there even, is there actually a chance that he wins this damn match? Styles clash. Oh, but it's a rope break. How is it a rope break? This match continues. This is bullshit. Styles dragging Fury to the ropes. Oh my god. I mean, give me a break. Fury. Club and blow right to the back of the head. How, how many times is Siri gonna think I'm what the fuck am I saying? To make Theory Siri think I'm talking to him. I'm not talking to you, bitch. Well, regardless, Theory on the top rope. What a night it's been, man. I mean, it has been heartbreaking. It has been just, oh my God. Another cover from Theory. Trying to put Styles away. Dude, this guy's heart won't give out. This man just had the most heartbreaking moment of his career happen to him. But the thing that will make it worse is if he doesn't qualify for King of the Ring in the process. Man. I, I can't even like properly commentate on this. What am I supposed to say? I'm supposed to call the moves now? Like I'm supposed to pretend that Kevin Owens didn't just do the most unthinkable thing? I mean, we've seen here. Look at this. And now these two going back and forth here. Styles going to have to sit here and wrestle. I mean, give me a fucking break. This is for the King of the Ring tournament. I mean, this, these two tournaments, the King of the Ring, Queen of the Ring, it has been unbelievable every match so far. Oh! Fury getting his shots in. Styles doing the same. Okay, I'm so over Siri getting activated. You have no idea. And now these two, look at this. Just laying it in on each other. My God. How many drop down leapfrogs are we gonna see in this in this freaking episode? My goodness, Theory with a neck breaker. Look at the, there is blood everywhere. I mean, this crowd has been stunned since Kevin Owens came in and did what he did. I, I'm, but Styles refuses to give up. He ref, he's still in this thing. I don't understand how that's even possible. Theory with a DDT. But he is hurt, man. He is he is slow to get up to his feet. 
I can't even imagine how AJ Styles is right now. Real talk. I can't even effing imagine. Look at the blood. Look at the blood on Styles. It's it's insane. My God. I mean, one of these men is going to the second round of the King of the Ring tournament. But there's a way bigger story to tell with what just happened between... Oh my God. Styles has a cross face it after everything. Gets a cross face it on Austin Fury. Is there a chance? Oh no. Come on now. Give me a break. German suplex. Oh, what a main event. Dude. What the fuck, man? Style spine parallel with the apron. Look at how look look, Styles has been on the ground for like two seconds. Look at the blood. Look at the blood that's all it's everywhere. That's all AJ Styles' blood, I'm pretty sure. And look at this. After everything, the A-town down didn't work. Dropping Styles' neck on his knee didn't work. How about beating the hell out of him with a sledgehammer? That might get the job done. Let's talk about it. How many times? Jesus Christ! I mean, come on, dude. Styles somehow is the one to be on his feet after all that. I mean, what are we, nuts? What are we doing? Man. What a match. What a freaking match. Styles off the ropes. Drops a knee down. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, man. Styles is feeling it. Somehow, he's still fighting. I don't understand it. Look at this. Springboard. Springboard moonsault into a cover. That might actually do it here, folks. That might do it. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not get it. Styles somehow moves on to the second round of the King of the Ring tournament in spite of everything. Austin Theory put a hit him with the freaking kitchen sink, brother, and Styles still stayed in it. Kevin Owens has, has turned on him. What the fuck, man? Oh, I mean... All right. All right, folks, we're going to see you next week. We'll follow up on this. Um, yeah. All right. Goodbye.